Welcome back, everybody. I think you know the drill. It's hard to find for. Um, this time I'm playing Italy. Uh, I've been testing Italy out a little bit, so I think this is the perfect time to try that out and teach you a little bit about Italy. I was thinking about doing Hirohito, but I, th I, I think he should be, um, fine. But yeah, I'm gonna be playing Italy. I'm gonna do, uh, it's kinda like a little tutorial kinda thing. But if you really want a really good tutorial, you should go check out ISP. He really did a good one about playing his Italy. Uh, and uh, he does pretty well. So uh, if you wanna go check out a pro kinda tip, uh, go check him out. And if you wanna see like a kind of uh, mini one, you go see me, pretty much. Now, you might be seeing me lose parts of Ethiopia and wonder what the hell is he doing yeah you want to farm Ethiopia because your general kind of sucks he's got nothing going on for him so you can get infantry leader real fast with him and you can also get mountaineer because you're fighting the mountains in Ethiopia and this is how you get Ethiopia it's how you get your general to be really good that's how you do it okay so I got Ethiopia now do I want to take it all nope why? Because you spent a little bit more time in uh, in Ethiopia. You want to pop him. Now what this does is when you do the peace conferences, exactly, it bypasses this focus entirely. So now you don't need to do it. So that's pretty good. And then uh, just because you're getting a lot of resistance from these guys as well, you also want to uh, release it as a puppet of course you don't want to just release it as it is and uh, why is that is because as you can see ton of resistance in this but why you want to do that is because first of all you get no resistance so you don't have to put any troops in there uh, secondly Ethiopia by itself will create troops I don't need these anymore uh, will create troops and uh, you'll be able to station this place with a lot of troops and uh, because here's the thing unless you have the Suez this place can't get anything at, at the beginning of the war because the UK just blocks your travel entirely. Now that I have this guy doing pretty well, uh, you want to stage your troops anywhere. You're not going to put them in here because that's just a death trap for your troops. You don't want to do anything with this. Uh, <coughs> we're going to separate them later. But now what you want to do is you want to justify on Austria. And instead of putting... Um, you want to get Tyrol because here's the thing, right? First of all, they're fascists, so nobody's going to support them. Even the fascists won't support them. And they're not aligned, so that's also. And now that you have Giovanni, who's a mountaineer and infantry expert, you can just do this to him. Uh, just change him up because he's way better. And you can change him up with the, the uh, ex offensive expert as well. Uh, these lines are already drawn, so they're all going to be like ready to attack. And uh, you can blitz through... Um, also, change your divisions, because these divisions are not going to cut it for the rest of the war. You want to change them to, of course, the basic 20 width, with support anti-air, because I built that to begin the game, so now they're ready to be used. And, of course, we just take Austria, because Austria, over the ages, just destroyed Italy over and over again. So this time, we're just going to take them, and uh, this is what they get. You know, this is what happens. And then we're going to prepare to go against Greece, because that's just how things go sometimes. Here's a little hi life hack for you. So I did automation with Abbey and probably gonna get them in a few. I asked to join the faction, first of all. So we stand together, Albania yields, get the guy that's good with mountains down here, get him to go to Athens because he you want, and then you can just uh and then you wanna do of course different Bulgaria because you need it. And then you'll you'll be able to do the Pact of Steel after that. So that's a uh, because you need you require a preferable area pretty much. So a little trick to little trick for you uh, as uh, Italy. Everybody's gonna want France and uh, Great Ruben are gonna try to naval invade you. You want to get some divisions to hold that. Just get some twenty with. Uh, this is sixteen. Get some twenty with uh, divisions. They can hold the ground. You don't need to add anything to them. Just remove these two. And then you should be fine. Uh, these divisions can hold. Just put them on your port, pretty much. 
and th that should be good enough. Now, if it comes to the game sucks, and I really hate it, uh, the UK is justifying, is not justifying, guaranteeing uh, Greece, which of course is just the worst thing to happen in my life. So I'm going to try to turn them into fascists, but I don't have any uh, hope of that happening. But we'll try. It's only 1938 as well, so it's pretty early. And I'm just building these right now. That's pretty much what you gotta do, and then you just go down the rest of your focus tree on this part. Uh, you can do treaty with Germany, German education, do all the other things, pretty much. And then the one the war starts, you can do claims on France. When uh, when Germany takes out France, you can get claims, which you can ask you for Savoy and Cor you can ask him for Savoy in Corsica. But you want to do war with Greece as fast as possible, and you can get some troops to prepare to invade Corsica and stuff. So you want to do all your things. It's pretty simple what you do next. Okay, so it's World War II. Germany called us in. And because we have literally, like, there's no reason not to accept, we will accept. Uh, we're going to get these divisions out. We only need one. That's a fine as well. And here's the thing, right? We're going to get everything ready to go. Because we just, it's already, it, it's going to be perfectly fine. And now we're at war. UK calls Belgium's in. So, and uh, we're just gonna blitz through, uh, as you can see. Naval invasions already start. Now, we don't care about the Dokini, da 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 And uh, these divisions are gonna, just gonna rush across the desert, and they're gonna get there as fast as possible. You wanna put them on aggressive so that they, they just attack like crazy, and we're gonna get we're trying to get through there as fast as possible. Uh, now. We got these guys. We can get these to attack as fast as possible. Get medium tanks that we are going to put into production as fast uh, as fast as possible. And after that, you just, uh, yeah, you try to survive as long as possible. Because Germany is going to take out, is going to take our, is going to take everybody out. So you just gotta, you just gotta make sure this happens. Little, uh, th quick thing. Never, don't bring these guys into the war yet. You haven't taken out the Suez yet, so there's no point. Because you won't be able to rush your troops down here to help, go help them out. So that's important. Also, you know all those troops that you extra did? These ones? Yeah, they're gonna hold every port. And that means every port. Like, I'm not even joking. And of course, uh, Germany's doing great over here, so you can just start pushing with these divisions. Now, my naval invasion did fail, but that's fine, because it won't really matter in the end, to be honest. But you just wanna make sure that you can try to push everywhere as possible. You want to take Africa. You want to take everything as, fa as fast as possible. Can't stress this enough. Yeah, so uh, as soon as you capture more ports, you put them on these ports and that should be fine. So like I said, uh, France is trying to na- uh, France. I mean, uh, Britain is trying to naval invade us. Of course, I have 20 with uh, divisions here just holding the line, so nothing bad should really happen. I'm going to be able to hold them off as... F I'm going to be able to uh, hold them off because they're just 20... They're just pure 20 width. So even though, the, even though they're not really fully equipped, they're still going to be great at doing whatever their job... Whatever they do. Also, this is just me uh, protecting my uh, convoys in the sea. Now, yes, they have a lot of things happening. So, But I can sink some, some troops. This is... Yeah, this is just them... Um, this is just them convoy, convoy protect, convoy escorting because I need, I need, a, I need things to go through, come through. Now these divisions won't come because they're low supplied, but uh, you should be able to push through after a for a while. A bit of tries, you know. It's, it's, it's France. It's, it's World War Two. Okay, so I wasn't pushing through, uh, through this part of, um, of Africa. Easily, so what I did is I, get, I got eight divisions that I had uh, sitting in this army, and I just made them naval invade. And of course, because uh, this is AI, 
AI isn't that smart. Now, if you are bad at the game, that's not your fault. Uh, it's just because this game is pretty hard to understand. Uh, but yeah, so you get all main, and that means they can't get supply. Uh, which is perfect for you, because that means they'll just starve. Uh, you get Cairo, trying to get the Suez, uh, as much of the Suez as possible. And the fall of Cairo, no tank in there, but that's a tank picture. Whatever. And then you can just grab all of this up to make sure that the British don't stay alive. And um, pretty much this, you can just make it into this instead. So, now that you've conquered North Africa, you're not done, right? I want you to realize that you're not done yet. You still have more to do, because North Africa is a big part of... of um, is a big part of Africa, of course, but uh, it's not all of it. Now is now the rest of Africa is going to be imp now you've taken down of course a good part now they can't send anything through the Suez but they can still try to capture it back and that's important right that's important that they're going to try to capture it back you need to remember that as much as possible uh, you're going to have to put troops on all of these ports uh, because without that you're not going to get anything done. Uh, you want to take Gibraltar. That is the next step. Gibraltar is hard to take, but you can take it. And because you've taken the Suez, they're going to try to take that back as much as possible. That is really their main goal. So, predict that. So, I did do my claims on Africa, uh, claims on France, which I demanded Vichy territory. They only gave me Savoy, not Corsica or all of Provence and Alps, which is not very nice of them, I would say. Uh, by the way, I, yeah, I took them out. <laughs> what I did is I, uh, I, I kind of encircled them, in a way. But now I just need to make sure these divisions don't break out. That's pretty much the only thing that, uh, needs to be, uh, sure, made sure of. Oh, and of course, these divisions will tell, hold Tel Aviv if they need to. In other news, uh, I got Greece. I got Greece, I pushed down all the way over here, but it's really hard when your divisions have no ore. The infrastructure is so bad over here, like, I have to build it myself just to keep them afloat. I don't... <laughs> I need I need to try as much as possible, but this is so badly, like, there's no infrastructure, nothing's working. So, yeah, I haven't invited these guys into the war yet, and, um... Jeremy's at war with the Soviets, I'm not doing that war because I'm, I am going to completely destroy it if I do. At this point, I'm just trying to hold on as much as possible and I'm trying to, de to defend against, uh, against what the, because alone the UK is throwing so much at me that I have to, I have to defend against that because that's all that's happening. Uh, and Greece didn't capitulate yet because I need to capture all of these, I need to capture any of these things and that's annoying. No, that is really annoying. But it, it's it's war, baby. It's war. So. so with USA now in the war, they just have unlimited things to send. Like they're sending so much, and every five seconds you hear a naval invasion plan. Uh, it's really really annoying. My navy's not able to hold up to anything at this point. My navy is just so small. Uh, there's not much boats left, to be honest. I'm just kind of just doing whatever I can to survive. This is uh, this is really hard. And of course, like like I said, ISP's plan is way better. Uh, like I did what I could, I think, to survive as long as possible. But now it's just uh, so it is really hard. Now, me, I'm gonna play a little longer to see what happens, but I don't plan. I'm gonna probably end this pretty soon. I think if we can get National Spain into the war, then I can finally start winning Africa. But as you can see, they're here as well, and I didn't even realize. So, it's just really hard to hold up.
because my navy can't go through the Mediterranean because it's being blown to shred because I don't have the Gibraltar they're just passing all through here so I'm just trying to hold on as much as possible but uh, it's getting harder and harder that is for sure if you wonder why troops might like why oh my god they, so they're being of course they're not they have a, a port because I forgot to garrison it by accident uh, I should probably do that. Uh, because, yeah, I won't do it. Anyways. <laughs> so, they're, they're just landing so many divisions that I just can't keep up with it. But they're not sending in divisions that aren't capable. They're just sending in, like, shitty divisions. But they're just landing every day. Look at all these. Greece, Western Balkans, Tyrannian Sea. They're all trying. If you can tell, it's really hard to do anything uh like i said it's extremely hard i'm trying my best but uh yeah they're sending in divisions so many now i have an invasion plan to set up for gibraltar but uh it's not ferrying out because of course he is filled with uh troops like these with just boats the only sea I can kind of secure is, is these three seas, but that just get my that would kind of get my navy shredded up. The Suez has like weakened them a bunch, of course, but it's not. I guess it hasn't weakened them enough, I would say. Anyways, I'll just try to continue like playing through this. Okay, well I'm gonna end it here. <sighs> Fuck! I still can't get it. I still can't get it. Holy shit. So, Italy is hard to play. Not... It's like... You, you try the most you can, but without, like, getting, like... A better focus tree, it's really hard to play, because... Uh, as soon as the U.S. joins, they just go after you. They just completely destroy you. I tried. I tried to do as much as possible, but holy shit, it's hard... Uh, like, I'm not running out of equipment. I'm doing great on equipment. Just... <sighs> the infrastructure sucks, so I... Supply is really hard to get down. I've, I, I, I'm pushing down here. Like, I could... It's just... Oh, my God. Like... <sighs> well, if you ever try out, uh, Italy... Do, do... Do what Isoros showed you. Isoros is way better at the game... Than me. He does way better things. Yeah, so if you really want, like, a good Italian, like, game, check out his latest this Italian video. It's really good. But for now, this is it. So, uh, if you really want to look at the empire that I got, uh, th this is the one. Yeah, this is... Uh, it's... it's just... Uh, what can I say? Well, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.